Hey Aries, Betty here from Soul Therapy 1111 and let's see what you guys can expect from July the 3rd to July the 9th. Let's see. Let's see. Remember this is just a general um, reading. My link will be in the description if you'd like to book yourself in for a private reading. Okay, so we've got Karmic Cycles. We have Letting Go. We have a control, somebody here is, and we also have, oh, the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Ooh, an ending and yeah, expectations. Right, so what I'm picking up at the moment is, I feel there's been some sort of breakup that you are still kind of going through. There could be a separation here of some sort. Um, but somehow somebody's ego is getting in the way. Okay. This could be your ego. This could be your person's ego. And this is something that unfortunately needs to, um, you need to let go of this, but let's clarify. Let's clarify. I want to clarify the letting go. What is it here that the collective need to let go of Aries? There's something here that you need to let go of. Okay. Let's see. Letting go. Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. Okay, I feel that you've already let go of something here, but somehow either the person keeps coming in, either energetically or actually physically messaging you, coming in, coming into your thoughts all the time. And this is very difficult for you to let go because I feel that you notice that there is a potential here. There is a very strong potential of something working here, but at the same time, it's like there's not been much change. So what's the fucking point? You know what I mean? What's the fucking point? What is this? Clarify the control. I feel that you are hiding your feelings here with this person. You're saying to yourself, you know, it's all okay. I don't really care about this, but somehow oh, you do. You do. Right. Control is being clarified by the High Priestess, the Fool, the Ace of Swords, and the Tower. Okay, there could have been, this kind of breakup or separation could have been due to something that was spoken. Or something that was either said or wasn't said. Lack of communication, lack of clarity, ignore that, that's my fucking cats. Um... But you know somehow that there could be a new beginning. You know that you could possibly make this work or you know that the other person could make it work, but it's just not going anywhere, is it? No. And I feel that there could be some form of, uh, you might find out something. Yeah, it's just too hard. I feel it's just too hard and you kind of like had enough of all of this. You know what I mean? Okay, let's clarify the ego. Let's clarify the, my cats, honestly. It's always when I'm doing a fucking reading. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Cups, and yeah, I feel that your person, this is either your person or you, too closed off, too closed off, not willing to come in. This is what the ego is stepping in. Because what I'm getting is, there could be a possibility of making this work, but one of you or both of you are very much stuck in their ego. No, I ain't fucking doing it. You ain't fucking doing it. Um, and I think maybe this week is just not gonna, you're gonna definitely walk away from this. Let's see. Separation. Clarify the separation here, spirit. Temperance. Suffering swords. Yeah, I feel that whatever this was, somebody here was being very sneaky. Okay, I don't know if this was a betrayal, um, but somebody here was hiding something you found out, or maybe this Ace of Swords is you still need to find something out here before you can take this any further. Um, so I feel it's going to be a week very much full of confusion, letting go, but at the same time hanging on because this could work, it could work. What's the advice here for Aries? What's the advice for Aries about this situation? Because I feel there's, there's a very strong potential of this working, but it needs communication. You need to talk, they need to talk in order for, for you guys to have like a, a new beginning of some sort. What's, what is the guidance here? The advice for Aries with this situation. 
Okay, it's all about boundaries because I feel that you guys have gone through a lot with this person and it's all about what is it that you actually want? Where's your morals? Where's your values? Where's your tradition? Do you know what I mean? It's all about you. Is this something you really want to keep going with? Because I feel with the hidden energy at the bottom of the deck, you do have a lot of choices here, um, but you keep going back to this this kind of choice. Do you know what I mean? This energy is still very much in the back of your head. Whoever this person is, it's still very much, whatever the situation was, is still very much lingering in the back of your head. And this is something that needs to be um, obviously addressed. I don't feel you'll be doing anything um, because you're still, I don't want to say waiting, but there is a bit of an expectation about this, um, this situation, whether it's going to go anywhere, whether this person's actually going to open up and tell, tell you why they're being a bit sneaky, why they're being a bit cold. Do you know what I mean? There is still some lingering kind of um, energy there. Right, let's see your general message for July the 3rd to the 9th for Aries, please, Spirit. General um, message for them for the week of July the 3rd to the 9th. What's the general message? Okay, um, I would say you need to kind of... Before you get this clarity, there's your Aries card. Before you get this clarity, uh, no, that's not what they're saying to me. What I'm getting is, um, you are stronger than this. You deserve better than this. We do have the energy coming in here, and there is obviously the bottom of the deck, the magician. You can make it work, but a decision still needs to be made. Um, what I'm getting is, you don't have all the answers, so don't make any decisions, okay? You're going with your emotions at the moment. Um, this has not been set on stone yet. This is still not over. It's still not begun. It's still not continued. Does that make sense? It's still very much lingering in the air. Nothing's been decided yet. So don't you make a decision. Okay. So just focus on balancing yourself out. Um, not allowing your head to take over, not allowing your emotions to take over. That is your, your biggest bet. Focus on your work your finances try not to focus too much on your your emotions okay try not to focus too much on the heartbreak don't really think about it because we do have some changes coming and there could be a possibility of a relationship but at the bottom of the deck again you need to let go of this is it coming is it working is it not forget that forget that okay what is the guidance for Aries, for July the 3rd to July the 9th. What is the guidance? Focus on your career, money, and stuff like that. That's where you're going to get the rewards. That's where you're going to get um, your recognition. I'm also getting that you guys need to slow down. I know, I know you guys are very much in there. You know, slow down. Take a bit of a break. You know, you're doing too much or you're trying to do too much so you don't focus on this energy that we're talking about. But it's time to kind of sit back because this is messing... This is messing with your head. And be patient. Be patient. Things seem to be okay. Balance yourself out. You're going to get what you deserve. Okay? Whether that's good or bad. I feel that it is good. But overall, I would say, Aries, you need to... Don't make any decisions. Um, just sit back. Try not to get it too... Try not to get too much in your head. Try not to overwork too much. Try not to run away from the situation too much. And yeah, that was your reading. So let me know in the comments how that went. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.